Hey guys and welcome to a brand new airsoft video. This is part one of two from a weekend event, Operation Blue Fox 2, that I attended with the entire of my team, Cold Spear, and we also linked up with the guys from CTF 226, comprised of members of Task Force Copperhead, Diablo, Grey Fox, and the guys in Cobalt. And together as a large combined task force, our mission was to move onto the site in the evening as the sun was setting to use darkness as cover, allowing us to use night vision to capture an oil tanker that was being controlled by Russian forces. Now the site itself is actually a disused airfield, which is now used by the fire and rescue services as a training facility, meaning there were a whole bunch of different style buildings and scenarios which gave us some cool places to fight through. Now as we moved onto the site, there were already NATO soldiers and local police forces trying to take on the Russian troops. But our tasking was to move through the woods to the right hand side that you can see ahead of me until we got down to the centre runway, giving us a straight line of sight to the oil rig. Take me away to meet the runway. Like a junction type thing. Now one of the biggest challenges of this site was the sheer scale and amount of open space. Moving down this runway towards the oil platform was going to prove very difficult unless we could move very quickly and try and use as much smoke as possible as cover. What boom? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, we've got another camp. We've got a reach endpoint. Hey, push it across the field on the right. Hey, move it right, move it right. Contact right. Chuck us a Chuck us a Chuck us it. Thirty feet. Right side of the container! Now because we'd advanced down the runway pretty quickly, we'd actually caught a lot of Russian fighters out in the open who were now stuck trying to fall back to the oil platform. But we also had a large number of fighters coming across to our position from the field to the right hand side. Nicely done! Please, you get them all? Yeah. Quick. Quick. Are they Russians? They look yeah, dead. They are. They're engaging us! We're getting engaged on this side massively. Now at that point there, just as I moved away from that large crowd of players and into the container, a tag round actually came in and not only took those guys out, but actually hit a guy's weapon and broke it. So even though the rules said you couldn't fire tag rounds at people, that came directly in and struck a player. Fucking hell, uh... We move, let's move on him. Okay. Oh, fuck that. Whoa! My foot's disappeared. Hey, put fire on that, put on the right. You got? Right, let's fuck that up, let's go. Oh, hit. Yeah. Medic! Guys on the container, flash Medic! 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 Yes! Got him! Yes, they're all dead! Come on, 
Reload it. That grenade landed on the roof above them, so I took them all out. Yes, ready, here. Guys, we need some momentum. Are we standing around? Here? He's whacked. Get them when you come back, lad. We need a medic out here. There, right in front of me. Get lad when they're in front of us. No, you can get him. You can get him sound. Right. Somebody needs to hold this rifle so I can get over the wall. Yeah. Come in now, you stay. You good? Now by this stage we pulled all of our task force up behind this concrete silo, but we were meeting a lot of well bedded in resistance on the opposite side of the building. So to try and loosen that up, I was going to try and get as many grenades as possible over this building and over the wall to take these guys out. I got the ones behind the thing. How far? Uh, on the other side of the wall, there's a flash down so you can put it on the left hand side. Down! He's down, he's down! Hey! Left side of the brick wall. With the area ahead and around the oil platform now cleared of enemy players, it was now time for the final push across the runway to try and take the oil platform. Yeah. Shoot down on the guys on the other side. Now as we got up onto the oil platform, the remaining Russian players who were still alive had actually fled from the platform and taken cover behind a wall on the opposite side of the runway. Now if somebody could provide me with covering fire, I was going to try and get across that runway in the cover of darkness and try and get a frag over that wall and take out the last of those players. How far do you reckon I can get a grenade on them from here if I run up to the edge? What, you can launch it? Yeah. I'm gonna creep up and just pop a grenade over the wall. Which way are you going? I'm gonna go around this way. If you put cover that way. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. I'll throw this way if you go that way. Yeah. Ready? So with the last of those Russian players taken out from behind that container there, the oil platform was clear and after this it became way too dark to continue recording. So the GoPro came off and the night vision came on and currently I have no way of recording that. So stay tuned for part two which continues on the next day as we attack across the airfield and try and take out some more buildings held by Russian players. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if so don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and stay tuned for part two coming very very soon. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Suck on this, motherfuckers! <laughs>